Ever since the moment that our universe was created by the Big Bang more than 13.7 billion years ago, scientists have never stopped searching for answers in the process of our formation. For all the mysteries that have emerged regarding the black void that seems to surround us, that did not stop our minds from imagining the most terrifying aliens, TV shows, and science fiction concepts. Yet, as scientists venture on into the void day by day, they are only shedding more light on what is out there in the vastness of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest advancements in the field of space exploration. Unknown Object Observed Close to the Black Hole In a comparison between the ocean and space, they say we know more of space than we know of the ocean. Although there still exists a gargantuan cloud of mystery that looms over it and the surprise discoveries keep on coming. As recently as 2021, scientists and astronomers alike have been baffled by a new discovery. Pointing at the centre of a black hole in the galactic atmosphere of space, an unknown and mysterious structure has been sighted. It is estimated to measure approximately 2.3 light years in length, and it takes on a snake like shape. From the images that have captured it, it appears like a strand of thread, although most certainly much, much larger than one and has a rosy, fiery red colour, similar to the black hole it seems to be embedded around. So what is it? That is the crazy part. Scientists do not know. Black holes in and of themselves have a lot of mystery surrounding them, so this new discovery just adds to that element of mystery. Scientists have compiled a set of possible theories as an explanation as to what the strange snake-like filament pointing at the black hole could possibly be. One such possibility is that it could be the aftermath of particles ricocheting as a result of the commotion within the black hole. This theorizes that the speedy whirling motions of the black hole, as well as the gases within, may, as a result, conjure up some sort of vertical magnetic field. The second theory that scientists have conjured up is the possibility of the age-old mystery that are cosmic strings. Could the curved, thread-like structure be a cosmic string? So, what is a cosmic string? First off, a little disclaimer is that it is not even confirmed that they do in fact exist. However, playing along the prospect that they are indeed among the millions of factions that make up space, Cosmic strings are said to be essentially the fractures of the universe. Fractures, cracks or indiscrepancies, whatever you want to call it. The cosmic strings theory is in correlation to the infamous Big Bang theory and is theorised to primarily point back to the times of the birth and origins of the universe. Along those lines, it is believed that at one point in time everything in the universe was one before expanding and disintegrating into other individual parts. As a result of all of those reactions and forces taking place during the expansion and fragmentation processes, cosmologists propose that perhaps the cosmos cooled at a pace too fast that led to time essentially being fractured, hence leading to the immersion of energy-filled tube-like structures that spanned the length of the universe, or in simpler terms, cosmic strings. Since there has not been much solid confirmation to validate the claims of the existence of such structures in the universe, it is hard to say whether what was identified pointing towards the black hole is in fact a remnant of said cosmic strings. But the potential prospect of it has left scientists excited that this may be a breakthrough into possibly validating their existence. Not only would it be exciting for cosmologists, astronomers and scientists alike, but also for anyone intrigued by or fantasizing about the prospects of time travel. If they do exist, cosmic strings are theorized to harness the potential for time travel, thanks to their resilience and gravitational pull. The last possibility that scientists have proposed may come off as rather bland and unexciting, as it proposes that the strange filament may be matched to millions of others found across the span of space, and that the fact that it is pointing at a black hole is purely coincidental. However, scientists do scratch their heads in doubt at this notion, as the possibility of such a coincidence comes off a bit far-fetched. They find it unlikely that it would just be there simply by chance. 
Maggie one of the biggest structures in the Milky Way. Did you know that hydrogen was actually only formed several thousand years after the universe itself? The most basic atom there is, and crucial to so many elements of life, quite literally. Hydrogen was first formed about 370,000 years after the collision which gave rise to our universe and is a key component in many cosmic beings such as stars, clouds and planets. It is the most commonly occurring element in the universe. Scientists report that it is still in fact difficult to always detect the individual hydrogen clouds in the interstellar medium. As such, astronomers struggle to accurately track and study the early formation of star structures, which also means it is hard to monitor galactic evolutions which change via these processes. All of this makes the recent discovery of Maggie all the more impressive. Discovered less than a week into 2022, a group of astronomers from the Max Planck Institute of Astronomy observed and recorded a huge hydrogen gas cloud filament in our very own galaxy. Named Maggie, it is said to be located some 55,000 light years away on the complete other side of the Milky Way. The noteworthy bit is that Maggie is one of the longest ever observed structures in the Milky Way, measuring 3,900 light years long and 130 light years wide. The longest other known hydrogen gas clouds usually measure around the 800 light year mark in length for comparison. From further highly technical experiments carried out to verify factors such as velocity, radiation and wavelength of Maggie, the astronomers were able to confirm that Maggie is indeed one coherent structure, which supports theories made by a previous team from roughly a year before this. This time, though, it can be marked down in the record books as having been proved to be legitimate beyond reasonable doubt. The team, elated with their find, are now analyzing Maggie's elemental composition to figure out how the hydrogen behaves within the filament. So far, they know that Maggie contains a concentration of roughly 8% molecular hydrogen compared to the overall mass, but continue researching as they remind us there is so much more still to discover. Astronomers have detected a rotating galaxy in the early universe. When it comes to studying the creation of the universe, looking through the lens of a telescope can allow us to peer through time to piece together a timeline of how the universe as we know it developed. Finding things from earlier on in this timeline can be a valuable source of information regarding the mechanisms surrounding the evolution of galaxies and the infinite expanse of space over time. One such clue that was recently discovered using the ALMA telescope was an interesting rotating galaxy in the early universe. While all galaxies display a slow rotation, this one was unique in the fact that it is the youngest rotating galaxy ever found, and it's rotating at speeds that are much slower than the younger, more present-day galaxies that have been mapped. The galaxy in question, called MACS 1149, JD1 is incredibly far away and was only able to be observed due to the gravitational lensing that occurs to magnify the image of the galaxy as its light passes through a giant galaxy cluster nearby. Calculations revealed that this new galaxy formed when the universe was only 500 million years old, a little more than the blink of an eye when it comes to the cosmic timeline. It's also rather small, with a diameter of only 3,000 light years across and a rotation speed or 50 kilometers per second. For comparison, our own galaxy, the Milky Way, measures over 100,000 light years across and rotates at speeds of over 200 kilometers per second. Researchers believe that this is due to the fact that it seems that galaxies build up rotational speeds over time, and such a young galaxy would not have had time to accumulate enough matter to build up very fast rotational speeds. This means that, because researchers are viewing the galaxy at a point in time that has long since passed, as it advanced in age it likely accrued more matter and increased its speeds. Co-author of the study revealing this discovery, Akio Inui, said that the rotation speed of JD1 is much slower than those found in galaxies in later epochs and our galaxy, and it's likely that JD1 is at an initial stage of developing a rotational motion. This is an important discovery for the understanding of galactic rotation over the course of cosmic time, 
and the research team hopes that they will be able to employ the powerful James Webb Space Telescope to peer even further into the cosmos and obtain more samples of how galaxy rotation rates increase or not over the course of their lifespans. Earth may have been a water world three billion years ago. Earlier this year, Harvard published a study on the Earth's water storage capacity, which challenges our long-held assumption that the water volume on Earth's surface has not changed since its formation. The researchers published their calculations and findings in the April issue of AGU Advances. The Harvard team's geochemical calculations suggest that three or four billion years ago, Earth's ocean could have been one to two times larger than it is now, potentially covering the entire surface of the planet. PhD students who led the study explained that although it greatly depends on the distribution and overall height of the continents, the ocean could very well have covered an average of 70 to 80 percent of the land. If the ocean volume then was twice what it is today, the surface of primordial Earth would have been completely flooded. One of the longest-held beliefs of Earth's formation was that its ocean volume has remained relatively consistent throughout its history. The team challenged this idea by studying the chemical components within the Earth's mantle and interior. They gathered as much scientific literature and data as they could find on minerals that showed the bonding of oxygen and hydrogen atoms to calculate Earth's water storage capacity. The researchers determined that the capacity in the mantle billions of years ago was much less than it is today. Over time, water has been falling into our planet's interior due to tectonic movement and subduction. The amount of water in our mantle now is much more significant than what it could hold a few billion years ago. All of that water had to have been somewhere, though, potentially on the Earth's surface. The study is to first provide quantitative evidence that our Earth could have been an actual water world, although many other researchers have previously argued for it. It seems that the 1995 Universal Studios film Waterworld was not so far-fetched after all. Likely, our planet was covered entirely in water. However, this occurred billions of years ago, way before humans. The findings are not conclusive enough for the entire scientific community, as the mineral data used to create the calculations was limited. They only had information up to a certain depth of the mantle. Regardless, the research team is excited for their next project, Mars. They are looking to the red planet and hoping to use a similar model to figure out how much water it had stored in its interior. Tonga volcano eruption triggered atmospheric gravity waves reaching the edge of space. About 65 kilometers north of Tonga Tapu, the main island of Tonga, there is a submarine volcano named Hunga Tonga Hunga Hape. On January 15, 2022, the volcano erupted and created quite the spectacle. An international team of researchers from multiple institutions collaborated their abundant satellite data with ground-level observations to prove that Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpe's latest eruption was unique both because of its magnitude and speed, as well as the range of gravity and atmospheric waves it created. Previous to the January 15th eruption, there was a series of smaller volcanic events that began in December of 2021. January's eruption created a vertical plume that reached over 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. For 12 hours after this volcanic event, heat that was released from the water and hot ash was the most substantial gravity wave source on Earth. Satellite images show ripple-like gravity waves that extended across the Pacific Basin. Reverberating atmospheric waves that traveled around the planet a minimum of six times and reached extortionary speeds of 320 meters per second were also a consequence of Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpe's eruption. It's believed that such a large explosion was caused when large amounts of magma and water interacted. There is an extraordinary temperature difference between the water, which was around 20 degrees Celsius, and the magma, which is around 1100 degrees Celsius. With each contact, water would have been pushed deeper into the margins of magma, creating a larger surface area of contact and propelling more explosions in a chain reaction. Those who witnessed the eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpe reported crackling and noises like artillery fire from up to 90 miles away. 
Some researchers are warning that we may not have seen all of the repercussions of this phenomenal eruption yet. There is speculation that the Antarctic hole in the ozone will be negatively affected by the powerful atmospheric waves. This event affected such a large region that it will have an impact on how scientists view future atmospheric weather and climate models. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.